Hello everyone, this is Colonel S, and welcome to another redstone tutorial. Today we are going to be building a 3x3 piston door, and as you can see right here, I have the door. This works in Minecraft Bedrock 1.18, and one thing to point out before we start this tutorial, to power this door, you have to use a repeater going into this block. You cannot use just a lever, due to the input bug, you have to use a repeater. Just to show how this door works, we flick this lever on, it, the door closes up, and then it'll open. It's nice and fast, it's very small, and without further ado, let's get on to the tutorial. The first step in today's tutorial is to place down two upward-facing sticky pistons. These pistons have to at least be one block off the ground, like they are here. Next, we're going to come over here, we're going to place a dropper in line with this bottom piston, and then an observer facing toward the piston. On top of the observer, we're going to have a three tick repeater, and then behind that repeater, there's going to be redstone dust. Next to this redstone dust, there's going to be a target block like this. This is not a necessary target block unless you are trying to stack more than one of these doors next to each other. If you're not stacking any door, then this can just be any normal block. On the other side of this target block, there's going to be a torch. Above the torch, there's going to be a block with a torch on it. And then in front of this torch, we're going to place a sticky piston facing this way. And then we're going to place two more on top of it. Coming back here now, we're going to place a block on top of this torch. Redstone on top of this block. And then redstone here as well. And then we're going to place glass on top of both of these redstone pieces. Then we're going to place redstone on top of both of these glass. Next, we're going to come out one block here, and then we're going to place a dropper right there, and redstone right here. Then we're going to come down here, and we're going to place a downward-facing observer that faces toward the ground, and then we're going to come up here and place redstone on top of this dropper. Next, we're going to put in the downward-facing pistons, so there's going to be one facing downward right next to the observer, and then one right above it. So there should be two facing downward right next to these blocks. Then we're going to come on top of the piston, place a repeater that is set to three ticks. In front of the repeater, there's going to be a block. And then down here, we're going to have an observer that faces in toward that piston. On top of the observer, there's going to be a repeater set to three ticks. Behind that repeater, there's going to be a block. And then there's going to be a block here and a block here. On top of this block here, there will be a three tick repeater. And then on top of these two blocks, there's going to be redstone dust. Next, we're going to come all the way down here. We're going to place redstone here, a block here, a repeater set to one tick right there, a block here, a torch on this face of the block, then another block with a torch in the same place. And then above this torch, there's going to be a dropper. On the other side of this dropper, there's going to be an observer facing in toward the piston with a block in front of it. And then we're going to come all the way back around here, place a torch on this side of the dropper, a block right here, and then on this block we're going to have a torch here and here. Above this torch here, we're going to put a block and then redstone on top of this block. And then we're going to come all the way down here again, we're going to place a piston here, here, and here, and then one final piston in front of this torch. All we have left to do is to fill in the door blocks. I'm going to use iron blocks for the door frame because I think it looks nice, but you can use any solid block. So if we were to go down here and activate the door, and remember, this has to be activated with a repeater going into this block because of the input bug. This will only work if it is a repeater going into the block. So if we just flick this lever on here, the door will close, and then it'll open right back up again. Thank you everyone for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like below and comment what you would like to see me build next. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. It's completely free and helps out a ton. See you in the next video.